this project, uh, the rebuild of the Junkers F13, a legend grows new wings. We do that because our company is driven by passion, not by numbers. Our president is very close to aviation. He is a pilot himself, flying a jet. And he always felt a strong connection with Hugo Junkers and his achievements. Hugo Junkers is a visionary. He was way ahead of his time when he used Duralumin to build aircraft in 1919 or even before. In 1919 he commissioned this Junkers F-13 and uh, it got to fly after record-breaking six months, establishing a number of records like the altitude record, six and a half thousand meters, which is more than 16,000 feet. He got 330 of these aircraft built and what he also did is he developed the market for these aircraft. So he was able to get shares of many young airlines which were established all over the place following his idea of peacefully connecting the nations and countries. It's not a restoration, it's a rebuild. It's a complete rebuild. So we are in the process of certification right now, so the flight test program should start by the end of the year. The process started in 2009 when Bernd Huckenbeck the president of the Association of the Friends of Historical Aircraft was in search of a new airworthy aircraft to replace the existing one, a Junkers 52. To cut a long story short, this did not happen as planned, so after various considerations they decided to rebuild a Junkers F-13. What they had available was some drawings stored in the archives of the Deutsche Museum in Munich. So they had to find out about uh, more technical details by scanning, 3D laser scanning, an existing F-13 in Paris in the museum for flight in Le Bourget. That was a tremendous project, but it helped us to gain the data to re-engineer the entire aircraft. It's still built according to the regulations of the 1920s and that gives us an idea how far ahead they were already. There were just little modifications needed to meet today's regulations in aviation safety. The modifications we needed to do is, for instance, we fitted another engine in than the original, although we have evidence that Junkers F-13 were built with radial engines starting from 1928. Our aircraft comes with a tailwheel and braked main gear. The tail wheel is taken from the Junkers W33-34, which are the successors of the F-13. The original was equipped with a skid. You can imagine the airfields back then were grass airfields, so no flaps needed, no brakes needed. Uh, once the tail lowered, the skid was braking it. Amazingly short takeoff and landing distances are provided even for our aircraft. We estimate that the takeoff distance is 150 meters. The stall speed is as little as 35 knots, so you can imagine how slow you can approach. The braked main gear is taken from the Harvard T6, so they are a little bit smaller than the original ones. And the main gear itself is also taken from the Junkers W3334. Our president's father, Richard Morczyk, invented the first lightweight suitcase in 1950. He took Duralumin, the same material our aircraft is made from. Nowadays, uh, the company takes a little bit different alloy, but the F-13 is built from Duralumin 2024-T4. So, in a way, the project also honors Hugo Junkers as a visionary, as a pioneer, as an entrepreneur. So the flying is very hands-on. We don't have any autopilot, we don't have a glass cockpit, we have just radial instruments and we have an open flight deck. So you will always be exposed to the nature. It's kind of uh, nostalgia. We want to bring back the living of the 1920s with luxury travels and all the amenities back to presence uh, to nowadays passengers who might join us for a flight. So the cabin is, for instance, all leather fitted, can take four passengers, and we will use uh, the aircraft for company for marketing purposes, like 20 minutes sightseeing flights.
the idea is not to build a state-of-the-art modern aircraft. We want to bring back the original construction and show how revolutionary the concept was, that it can still be airworthy a century later, according to most modern standards. And the thrilling thing about it is we are building this aircraft in series, and you can purchase it. So we think uh, there is a market demand and we are ready to satisfy it. Aero TV is brought to you by... When the runway is hard to find. Four Flight's moving map and extended center lines keep you tracking toward the correct runway. Four Flight, the app pilots depend on.